so hello everyone in this video we'll be creating our route without using mongoose because mongoose is actually not required while working with mongodb but we do use that because uh, that provides a specific schema so when you want uh, the schema to be strict a schema you can consider it as a structure of your model or your collection if you want that all the fields are strict or you want some validation in that so at that time you do use mongoose so without mongoose we can do like we can save the data we can uh, get the data from mongodb as well so that i am showing you in this video in the next video we will be actually working with mongoose because uh, you should know that without mongoose you can also create the database so let's uh, first of all uh, for working with mongodb we actually need to create collections because you see here collections are not there collection is not there that's why our database was not showing as we uh, like refreshed in uh, that so robo 3d it was not showing so let's create one blog collection here so this is the variable i created globally so i can use them inside the routes as well so here i can first of all check whether the db is there or not by assigning that to block collection block collection i can assign that to block collection by checking db dot collection uh, this db dot collection is from this object which we stored here so the database uh, is there and we are connected with the database after that we are checking that if the database collection exists or not which database collection you can name anything here or you can name any uh, collection here for example i'm adding blog posts for example so this one will be assigned to this blog collection if that blog collection is not there so if the block collection is not there then actually we'll be creating uh, this block collection by using db dot create collection so in here i can name the same thing or the same name which i grabbed blog posts this one so this is actually i did here so i created a collection up before checking first of all i checked uh, whether the collection is there or not and I uh, store that inside this global variable and then I check that if that collection is there then you don't have to do anything and if it is not there then you have to create this collection so that is actually the thing after creating the collection I can store that if I want so uh, like after creating I can store that uh, inside the block collection the same line I can grab so after creating the collection it will actually assign that to here so this one I'm doing and now I can create a post route because we need a post route to create a blog first of all we'll be checking that with postman and then we'll be actually working in the front end and send the data to this route so for creating route i use app.post and similar to that we did in get i am specifying the route here so i can specify the route as uh, create new block i can write anything but uh, it is meaningful so i read, uh, wrote this one after that i can uh, add a callback function or a controller so there is also an MVC pattern of doing all these things which I've already covered in the REST API tutorial. So you can watch that if you want. That is also in the MON stack. So I'm not showing you the uh, MVC pattern like the model view controller and there are folders for routes. If the project is larger, so at that time we do actually, we create separate routes in the separate files and the controllers which I'm using here or the callback functions on the specific route they are also created in a separate file as a controller 
so we can also do that but uh, the project is a little bit simpler so we cannot I'll not be doing this in this video so if you want that approach so you can uh, see my rest API tutorial so in that I have already covered that so in this uh, I can first grab the data from the request by adding this data object inside that I can create this title by adding request dot body dot title so I'll be storing the title property from the request dot body so we'll be sending the data inside the body then we'll be grabbing that and assigning it to a property called title then I can write a description from the request dot body dot description I can write the same name and the final one is category so I can grab the category from the request body dot category I could also destructure them but I didn't do that so this is the thing now I can use this data object to create the uh, document inside the collection uh, in which collection we grab that here so this block collection inside that we will be creating one item in this post route after grabbing the data inside this object so for creating a, a document inside a collection we just use that collection name which we actually grabbed so collection dot I can use insert one block collection insert one and then I can set this data right also I can make it a try cache block in async await if I want so I can add try catch error I can console log the error if I want and I can send that to the user as well and I can use this collection and save the result to an object or to a variable and I can add an await here await and I can console log the result if I want console log result and I can send the data to the front end that it is successfully achieved so I can send the data in an object format as well successfully created block so this one is the message I send I'm sending to the client side or in the response object so this is the thing we did in this so let's save this and now if I save this file and let's wait for this to restart if I go to this one and if I refresh this you see here uh, the blocks is already created like the database is created now because the collection is there and if you go to the uh, collection you see here block post is there and I can view the document uh, if the document is there then it will show that document so let's create that from the postman so I have I already tested one thing so that's why it is showing here so I can make request to our localhost 5000 which is our server and to the route which we created just now so this is the route create new block so I'll be using the same name and I can send the data in a body so you see here in the body I have used the JSON format you should use this one and then I can send the properties and their values like in a JSON format so I'm sending title this one so let's add another one coding tips and the description can be uh, you should use comments or anything technology category is fine I think then after that I can send this to make sure it is a post request you see here message successfully created block 
so now it is actually processing that and you can also see the console log uh, which I logged here which is the result so it is saying that acknowledged and inserted ID or so there is one good thing about MongoDB that is it automatically creates these IDs for you so if you don't provide that so that will automatically be generated and assigned to one document and if I go to the Robo 3T now so if I refresh the page or refresh the document uh, let's refresh the database and if I view document you see here the two items are there uh, the second one is the latest one because we added this just now and the first one was the earlier one which I added earlier for testing you see here I sent three fields in the database but it is automatically taking the ID so you see here this is in a format of object ID which is the format uh, MongoDB supports and provides for IDs it automatically generates dynamic IDs for you so you don't have to worry about the IDs or uniquely identifying the objects this is actually we did in this video so we actually created the post route in this MongoDB by using mo local mongodb commands so if you're worrying about that how did i got this command insert one and how did i got this uh, db dot collection b dot create collection so you can study about this in the mongodb official doc you see here so in official doc you can go uh, let me show you how how did i manage to do this so you can also study about the MongoDB in the detail manner if you want. So it is actually in the MongoDB drivers inside that inside that you will find this CRUD operations and in here I have got this one in write operations. So in the MongoDB drivers when you go to the drivers so you see many drivers or for many applications for example if you are using Java as a backend so you can go with this one and it will show you how you can actually write commands for Java for creating the collection and for like getting all the collection data or documents and we are using Node.js so that's why we should go here and inside there there are a lot of different options you can try on make sure you study about the fundamentals first because fundamentals are necessary while building the application so you have to uh, get the idea from this or you can see my latest uh, MongoDB uh, playlist inside that I have already covered some of the commands you can see that if you want the Doro understanding of this and in the crowd operations you can go and like learn about the read operations and the write operations many operations are there so these are the things we did in this video thank you for watching Let's meet in the another one with the another topic.